What is the bioenergy? We have to generate bioenergy from biological resources. But how do we generate this energy from biological resources? It's not as easy as it seems. Now let's take the example of simply picking up a leaf from this tree. This leaf has a lot of energy stored in this leaf as chemical energy which it gets from the sun up above and it stores that energy as nitrogen, as carbon, etc. Now how do we as human beings make this energy work for us? How do we make this energy generate energy for our bodies? Now one way is to use this leaf and simply eat it up or eat the fruit of the plant. But how exactly do we turn the energy contained in this leaf or in this fruit to electricity, to light up our homes, to run our machines and to do all kinds of work for us? Now that is the very big question which forms the crux of bioenergy. Imagine that you have this fruit and now I need to generate energy from this fruit in order to light up a small light bulb. How do I do it? How do I turn the energy stored as carbon or as nitrogen within this fruit into energy to light up a bulb? That is bioenergy. One way is to take this, put it or simply burn it and from those heat generated or from the fumes generated, I can generate another energy and uh, convert that smoke or that energy into steam to make it push a piston and generate electricity. Now that may sound very crude to you, but that is exactly what they do with biomass in a boiler. They take all this organic matter, which is dry, this is wet organic matter, they dry this up and it should have sufficient calorific value and they put it and burn it and from the smoke that is generated, push that smoke with high pressure and you get what is called as enough energy to run a turbine or a generator and from there you will generate electricity that is one way. The other way is to chop it up, chop up this fruit into nice little pieces, put it in a container and close that container tightly, have microorganisms called methanogens inside which can break down the organic matter present in this and as the microorganisms break it down, they will convert it into simpler organic compounds and during that process, there is a gas called biogas and that is, once you have the biogas, that gas, you can light up the match and burn it. Once you can burn something, you can generate what is called as energy. From that, that is energy. And that is one more form of bioenergy called biogas. Third day is to take this fruit and squeeze it nicely. Tell you nicely squeeze it and generate oil from it. And that oil, if you can burn it, as just as you burn a regular fuel, then it is called as biofuel. But you can't just get oil from any plant. You need uh, oil producing oil producing seeds which have a high enough octane number have or which produce oil of good calorific value that can give you good amount of energy. Those are the three ways you can generate electricity from a simple food. One as biomass, two by generating bio gas from it, or three from getting this particular food as a biofuel. 